Hey Empress, hey Empresses, how are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. First things first, I only have one YouTube page and one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. I pray y'all are having a beautiful and blessed day. I pray y'all having a beautiful and blessed week. May Father God continue to cover you, bless you, and keep you safe all days, all ways. And I just want to say thank y'all for all the likes, the comments, the shares, the support. Thank y'all so much. I greatly appreciate y'all. Let's begin. <clears throat> Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine Archangel Michael Holy Spirit. Please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today. What are the messages today for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. What is Virgo need to know? Please and thank you. Virgo. All right, Virgo, you're about to triumph and succeed. Okay, it's like someone here could have counted you out and not realizing that you are, you're about to break free from something. And this has to do with you being your authentic self, being genuine, being honest, standing up for yourself with this sword coming out. It's like you're you're getting ready to fight a battle by being in your, your authentic energy. <clears throat> I've never even seen this sword like this before, but I'm seeing this sword and it's like it has light on it. So you're smiting some type of like dark energy with light with your authentic energy, with being your natural self, I'm seeing here. Yeah, and I was just about to say my throat chakra. So, yeah, this is, y'all got two double chakras that you could be working on at this time. And my ear, I feel like my, <clears throat> okay. So my ear just started ringing too. Um, y'all could be, something could be going on with, y'all could be like having like your ear ringing. Okay, there's a few things that's going on here. 56 could be significant, 65 could be significant. Someone could be born in May or in June or on the 5th or on the 6th. But you're dealing with your throat chakra, okay? This is, some, this is about you speaking your truth, speaking up. There could be something that someone needs to say to you, but this is you working on your throat chakra, how you're communicating with others, okay? What you are saying to others. You also are being led to, to open up your third eye chakra, it's time for you to see, like, beyond the veil. It's time for you to see beyond, like, what is being shown to you. Instead of just believing what everybody tells you or believing, you know, what you want to believe, believe what Father God is trying to show you. And that's happening through your third eye. Okay, this also has to do with your intuition as well. Listening to your intuition and speaking up, speaking the truth. Definitely, because you guys have two chakras that popped out here. So it's definitely something around your throat chakra and it's definitely something around your third eye chakra. There is a sacrifice that is needed. <clears throat> Someone could be born on the third. Somebody here could be trying to like shut you up in different ways. Someone here may not want you to speak up or speak out or someone here may not even want you to view, view things out of your third eye. Because if you view things out of your third eye, you'll have, it's like <sighs> that spirit directly giving you downloads, directly giving you information. Someone could be trying to block your third eye. They could be trying to block your intuition. <clears throat> they, could, they could be trying to mess with something that you were saying. You may speak for a living. You could do something. You could be trying to speak out or say some type of truth. And someone here wants you to, like, shut up. You have the sacrifice energy here as well. It's something that you need to let go of. It's time to sacrifice something. It's time to surrender. And it's, I'm not talking about, like, a <clears throat> like one of those, like, scary sacrifices. No, I'm talking about... There's something in your life that isn't in alignment with you any longer, and it's time for you to surrender it. It's time for you to sacrifice it. It's time for you to give it up so that you can evolve, so that you continue along your pathway. Because either you're going to continue along your path or you're going to stay stopped and capped. And whatever you're manifesting technically is not going to come because you're not taking the strides towards it. Okay, it's like you, you're, you're not going to be able to run into your manifestations if you're not continuing along your pathway. So you could be like, oh, well, three, two, one, a time, as I said this. You could be like, oh, I want a bigger house or I want this. Things are not going to manifest if you are not taking the necessary steps towards it. There's something that you need to sacrifice and let go of. I cannot make it up so that you can have positive forward movement. I'm channeling today with y'all. Like, final card before I move on to the next day. There's going to be movement here. And there's definitely choices that you need to decide on. Decisions that need to be made and not you can only choose one pathway. So it's like, what pathway are you going to choose? Are you doing it for money? Okay. Are you, do you want money? 
Do you want marriage? Are you trying to expand and grow? Or do you want what God wants for you? It's like, what, what pathway are you going to choose? Because <clears throat> each pathway leads to different outcomes. And sometimes the pathway looks all shiny and good. And when you choose that pathway, you realize you're on a pathway leading to away from God. Okay, so be mindful of that as well. Yeah, something has you very trapped in your mind or trapped in a state of fear. <clears throat> and you can't be you can't be fearful and faithful at the same time. So it's something about you choosing to release fear. Okay, this is also having to do with your ego, releasing ego and pride. You can't want what God wants for you, God's plan, and be working out of ego. It's either one or the other. Yeah, I'm having I'm seeing here you're coming together with someone. <clears throat> Excuse me, there's definitely going to be a reconciliation that takes place here, okay? This, someone could be, like, begging you to come together with them or begging you to get back in a connection with them because at this time, there's, like, silence. There's no action being done, okay? You could have even ghosted someone or someone could have ghosted you. I'm seeing here, yeah, look at this. This is a karmic. So there's a karmic individual that could be trying to, like, come into union with you, <clears throat> So there's a karmic that's trying to act like they are in a spiritual partnership with you. All they have is a karmic contract with you. They don't have a spiritual, they have a karmic contract with you. This could even be someone that puts you in a third party situation. Somebody is placed in your life to teach you spiritual lessons for your soul's growth, I'm seeing here. Yeah, you could be running away from this, avoiding this, or someone here was trying to run away or avoid a situation that they needed to address. I'm seeing here, yeah, this is devil energy all around this. With grip cards, something is weighing you down. Something is really like trying to stay stuck to you in a very toxic way. They're trying, someone, something is trying to bond you. Like, I can't even get this out. Someone is trying to bond you to them. Or you could be trying to bond someone to you. I'm seeing here with the past happened. This could have happened in the past. Or someone here could be trying to make the past resurface again in your life at this time. Yeah, this is, this is happening now. <clears throat> Projector came out in the reverse. This is happening right now for, for you or for some of you. <clears throat> this is this is really messing with my throat. Like I don't know who, what energy like I am in, but this is this is something, y'all. <clears throat> yeah, you have agreement being here as well with compromise. Someone here wants to settle with you. Or they want to come to some type of compromise with you. Okay, this could be a, a soulmate energy coming in. Yeah, you have someone that is is actually a soulmate that's coming towards you where the love is going to be unconditional but you have someone that you could have ghosted that's not taking no action towards you that feels very close or that wants to lock you up somebody here wants to lock you up they're feeling very frustrated because they're focused on this mission virgo so you're gonna have a choice to make one is a devil energy and one is choosing god with the unconditional love genuine true love okay it's a choice that needs to be made here i'm seeing here yeah you have there's someone that is like, their emotions go up and down. They could even be bipolar. This could be someone that's moving. They could have moved. They may be physically moving locations at this time. Okay, I'm also seeing here you are, you're embracing divine feminine energy. And you could be having a realization about things, about someone that you need to throw out in the trash. For someone here, this could be, you could be getting ready to meet your twin flame. This could even be through some type of legal matter. Okay, someone here could be a lawyer. Yeah, this happens once you wrap up a cycle. Once you learn and you complete the lesson, you meet your true partner. And it's like you have guidance of Archangel Michael. This is Archangel Michael protecting you, preventing any harm from you, and there's divine intervention around you. But there is a choice that is that's needed to be made, okay? Or there's a choice that you need to make at this time in regards to which direction or who you want to go towards. Because you, you definitely have two people. Yeah, someone you need to block. Someone is just a, a delay to you. With the hangman, someone is just going to delay you, stop you, and, and, like, block your path. With the seven of wands, yeah, this is a very codependent, karmic individual with the nine of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, you have, look at this. Somebody here is deceptive. Aquarius energy is here. You, yeah, this could be someone that wants a lot of attention, or you may be a star. You may get a lot of attention. Empress at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, there you go, Virgo, with the magician card. You're manifesting a wish come true, and it has to do with new love. This is all about you being able to co-create with Father God. With the Empress card, you could be pregnant. Someone here could be pregnant. You could be manifesting a family if you don't have a child at this time with the Empress. Okay, this is just like you could be wanting to become a wife with the Empress card. It's time to take action towards something new. That's the truth. It's time to go towards new energy. 
whoever you are connecting with at this time is manipulative. They steal from you. They could be wanting to take from you. They could be wanting to steal from you. This could also be someone that like has two different other karmic energies here that they go back towards with the two of swords. Somebody here like takes from people or manipulates two people, but these two people stay. Okay, or they know that they can always go back to these two places, two different connections, two different situations with the seven of swords. Somebody here could be trying to make their way towards you to do the same thing. What's the seven of swords? Somebody is very, yeah, this is a hot-headed individual. Okay, it can be a cancer. doesn't have to be, but somebody could be militant with this knight of swords. They could have a military background. They're very aggressive, very hostile with the knight of swords. And they're like, they, they like their way. Somebody makes quick and irrational decisions, and it's like it's full of darkness, illusion. Somebody is a deep illusionist. So the, somebody here likes to move very quickly because they know they fully. Okay, with the moon card, somebody's a liar. They're very deceptive. They like to hide behind, they like to hide in spiritual darkness. Somebody here has a lot of fears as well with the moon card and the knight of swords. They're very fearful of things. Or they want to quick, they want to quickly put you in a place where you're believing one thing when reality is truly another. The moon is here. This is all about you needing to listen and trust in your intuition. Because somebody here wants to keep you in darkness. They want to keep secrets. They want to keep secrets from happening. Yeah, this needs to come to an end with the death card. The moon and the death is here. Scorpio and Cancer is here. Yeah, the seven of wands. Father God is saying it's time to block this out of your life. And Father God is illuminating something so you can stay on your ground. Protect yourself, seven of wands, before this turns to like some real shit. And I really, I already feel like it's turning to real shit. Leo energy is here as well. Yeah, it's time you're wisening up with the queen of swords. You could be also getting a divorce with the Queen of Swords. You could be divorced with the Queen of Swords. This is also you working out of a place of intelligence, intellect, so that you can receive happiness. Libra energy is here as well with the Queen of Swords. You could be speaking out and saying what you want or saying what will bring you happiness. 12, 12 on the timer, as I said this, because right now it's something about you're not being satisfied with the lover or the lovers that you are receiving. With the four cups and the lover's card, or you're not satisfied with an individual, it's time for you to reject something so that you can choose different lovers. I'm seeing because you also could have had to wrap up some type of karmic contract with the, the lovers and the justice card and the four cups. It could have been a contract or some type of like contract you had with a lover. This even could have been a spiritual contract with the justice card and the four cups and the star is here. You could have had to wrap up some type of contract with an individual, and it was it's not a good one. With the Four of Cups, it didn't bring you any happiness. It didn't make you feel satisfied. It could have made you feel very rejected. It even could have played on your self-esteem with the Four of Cups. Someone here had different options that they were dealing with with the Lover's card. You could have different options in love at this time, or someone just has different people that they sleep with or do things with with the Lovers, different people that they hook up with. Libra energy is here. Gemini energy is here. It's something about you using your intuition to see the truth. Yeah, there you go, Virgo. You needing to listen to your intuition to see the truth. This is You even could have ghosted this individual, okay, or someone could have ghosted you with the Hermit card. It could be no communication. With the hermit or this is you needing to go through a dark night of the soul you really needed to go within to heal with the six of cups being here something else could have happened in the past as well okay that you could be healing from that there's shadow work that's needed with this hermit card because somebody here is juggling with the two of pentacles they're juggling they're dingling ace of wands this could be a, a man a father figure a boss someone here could, that could be in a place of control the emperor aries taurus energy this person is shady as free Whoever this emperor person is, they shady as fuck. And they want you to surrender. Somebody here likes you to submit. The first card out is the seven of swords. So this person is extremely vindictive, extremely vengeful. They're, they're, they're a snake. They will steal from you. They will throw you under the bus. They will lie on your name. They will slander you with the seven of swords. Somebody here wears a false mask. What's this star about? Someone here likes attention or you get a lot of attention. We have the ten of cups. With the Empress, you could get a lot of attention. You could be like famous. You could be someone that's very well known. Aries, Taurus, I'm sorry. Aries could be significant, but I wanted to say Libra and Taurus. So Aries could be in your energy. Well, Aries with the Emperor. I'm seeing here with the Ten of Cups being here. Well, you're getting ready to get into some type of stardom. Stardom. Something is going to be very healing. There's a wish that's getting ready to be granted for you. This is a renewal in your energy, also a renewal in your faith. And it has to do with the healing relationship in regards to love. Something that you have manifested with the with the magician and the empress being here. Yeah, this is being hidden at this time because something needs to come to an end. There needs to be an ending. 
There's also needs to be a transformation of self. Rebirth energy is here. There needs to be some type of dark night of the soul that takes place. The hermit with the moon card being here. With the death card, this is major spiritual enlightenment, but this is also a dark night of the of the soul. Shadow work, really needing to look at yourself in the mirror and heal. Okay, yeah, the knight of cups. There is someone that could be wanting to date you. This could be a Leo. Okay, yeah, the queen of cups. Somebody here wants, wants you to love on them or a cancer. What's the knight of cups about? The page of cups, okay. Aquarius energy is here as well. Somebody here wants to apologize for ghosting you. So you could have someone here that could be coming back or someone here wants to apologize for there being coldness or distance in the connection. This could be someone that's going through financial issues, just being honest. But the Page of Cups, they, they like you. This is someone that hides their emotions. So someone here is going to come in and try to like, however they were before, they're going to try to be a little bit more consistent or a little bit, they want to put more pressure this time. And it's because they could have like, they, they, you could have connected with this person before. This is someone different. This could be a water sign or an Aquarius here. This person was going through financial issues, hardships. They could have been dealing with something was wrong with their money. Okay. And it's like now this person wants to come in to talk to you. They want to apologize. I'm saying this is someone different. Okay. With the, this is someone that wants to take a leap of faith with you. Yeah. They want to communicate with you and they're really stressed out about how they're going to communicate or if you're even going to like respond back to them. They don't know. This is someone that wants to work on things. Yeah, the two of cups, they really want a relationship with you. I'm seeing here because they view you as happiness. So somebody here could, and, and they view you as someone that's very stable, very secure, very balanced. You take care of yourself. Okay, they view, you could be single. You could be independent. You could be very self-sufficient. You may not have children with the nine of pentacles. It's just you. You also just listen to your intuition. You're, you're, someone here wants to turn you into a wife. The Nine of Pentacles is one step away from the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody here wants to grow an empire with you, but they're very intimidated because their money was funny. And they view you as being someone that's abundant. This person likes you with the Page of Cups, but they keep their feelings and emotions to themselves. Or they could have before. This person's going to come in a little bit more stronger this time. They're stressed out, though. 99 is here because they feel like you have closed out a cycle with them. You even could have met this person online with the World card. Somebody here watches you online or you could have met this person online. It could have been like online dating with the nine of, nine of swords here. This person doesn't know like if you're going to accept a new chapter with them again, but they want one. This is Scorpio, Taurus, Sagittarius, Aquarius energy is here. Heavy Sagittarius. This person wants to bring balance with you. Whoever this is, you even could have met this person at work. They want to team up. They're talking to people about you. Because there's some type of delay or stagnation in a connection with them. So you have two people that you could be connecting to. With the lover's card, I'm seeing here, you have different options. You could be in a current relationship at this time that you're not happy within. And it's like Father God is sending you different people that are like, he's orchestrating in new connections for you so that you can choose better. You're not downgrading. You're going to be upgrading. But it has to do with you using your discernment to see like something that you're not satisfied with at this time. You need to like leave alone. Oh, yeah, if someone is it's some it's something that you need to drop with the four of pentacles, you could be like overly giving to a situation with the three of cups that's not giving you any type of favor. This is like fake friends, somebody here overindulges and drinks too much, they hook up with their friends. This is a failed partnership, a failed collaboration, failed friendship group, failed situation, failed connection with the eight of swords. You could be really stressed out over about about this as well with the three of cups. Something it's like yeah, because you wanted something to be successful in regards to a relationship or in regards to a home. This is what you were manifesting. I'm seeing here, what's this three of cups about? Yeah, but this was not going to give you what you wanted. It's not going to give you, it wasn't going to give you what you wanted with the three of swords. It was nothing but heartbreak energy around this connection or around this person or around these people that you could have wanted to build with. And something about you being very fearful of closing out a cycle. Okay, so things may have been stagnated because you were not trying to close out a cycle that needed to be closed out, Virgo. Okay. Yeah, but something needs to come to an end with the Ten of Swords. That's judgment. Scorpio energy is here. Okay, anything else that Virgo needs to know? Somebody is a whore. They're a harlot. They sleep around. They nasty. Okay? Literally. So, Father God is, is telling you there's going to be no more delays, no more holdups, no more blockages, earth signs. Virgo. Okay, you could have been dealing with a Taurus or a Capricorn. 
The letter G could be significant, I'm seeing here as well. First, middle, or last initial. I also see C. Somebody is in too much ego and pride. Okay, the letters, the letter C could be significant. First, middle, or last initial. I'm seeing here somebody is also late on bills. You have someone that was paying or that they paid for spell work to be done and it's not working. And my cat started crying. Somebody, that's confirmation. Somebody paid for some spell work to be done. And they're realizing that it is not working. A manipulative energy. Somebody here could have been real. They could realize this on Monday. They could have realized this on Monday. Something could be happening in the next 24 hours as well. Yeah, this was a third party situation. I'm seeing it. Somebody is manipulative. They're very physically and verbally abusive. I'm seeing here. Yeah, they spread a lot of lies and rumors on you. This could be your ex. They could have put you in a third party situation, or this was a third party situation. Anything else? Oh, okay. I'm seeing here someone's plans didn't work. Yeah, your ancestors are all around you. Somebody's plans didn't work with the letter L. This person is not single. Anything else for Virgo? The letter Q could be significant. Yeah, somebody got caught. A drama starter. Or well, there's about to be a faded event where a drama starter is going to get caught. Anything else for Virgo? Yes, someone's about to pop up like magic, I'm seeing here. Virgo. <laughs> yeah, this was a group effort to do this to you. Sagittarius is here as well. Somebody is hiding a secret pregnancy from you. You could have gotten someone pregnant. Yeah, an illusionist. Somebody did this, an illusionist. They were, they were trying to put you in illusions, I'm seeing here. Yeah, somebody's about to try to surprise pop up on you. I'm also seeing here, this person is full of bad karma. So if you connect with this person, you're going to be taking on their bad karma as well. I'm also seeing here, you can expect communication in a few hours from this person. This is not going to be summertime energy. So you could have connected to this person in the summertime. Something bad could have happened in the summer. But this is not going to feel like summer energy. It came out in the reverse. So be mindful of that. Okay, final card, final few cards for Virgo. Okay, yeah, the first card out, it's time to let go, Virgo. And y'all definitely don't like to hear that. I'm also seeing here, it's time to move the fuck on. And this is spirit saying this, this is the first card out. Anything else? They also want you to stop obsessing over something, so you're overdoing something. Stop obsessing. That's the second card out. You are not the fucking center of the universe. I'm also seeing here, yeah, you need some effing yoga in your life. So you may need to do yoga. Ancient shit is cool. Okay, you equals tight ass. You could be a tight ass at this time. Loosen the F up control freaks. Don't get laid. I'm also seeing here, yeah, you got that feeling you can't just shake. That little voice inside of you, you need to listen to that shit. So, yeah, it's time for you to listen to your intuition. At the top of the deck we have here, yeah, figure that shit out on your own. There's something that you need to stop talking to people about and you need to just do something by yourself. And at the bottom of the deck, that project, that person, that idea is waiting because you have somebody new. Go get after that shit. The world has your back. So it's like the universe is supporting someone new, going after something new, starting a new project, doing something that you have never done before. Okay, that's the only way that you're going to bring in change. Because nothing is going to change if nothing changes. I hope this resonated with you. May peace and blessings be to you always. And I will be seeing you on the next video.